There was movement at the station, for the word had passed around that the colt from old regret had got away and had joined the wild bush horses. He was worth a thousand pound. So all the cracks had gathered to the fray. Is there anything more iconically Aussie than Banjo Patterson? There's stockmen, stations, and of course, brumbies. They're the wild horses that inspired stories like the man from Snowy River. He was hard and tough and wiry, just the sort that won't say die. There was courage in his quick, impatient tread, and he bore the badge of gameness in his bright and fiery eye, and the proud and lofty carriage of his head. Sounds like you, Red. Horses arrived in Australia back in 1788 with the first fleet. And by the early 1800s, some had escaped or were abandoned. Eventually, wild populations began to pop up around the country. But while they became a part of Australian culture, they also became a bit of a problem. Horses' hooves damage our delicate soils. They cause erosion, spread weeds and damage waterways. Horses also compete with native animals for food. And there are a lot of them. In fact, it's thought there are around 400,000 brumbies roaming around Australia, including more than 6,000 at Kosciuszko National Park, here in the Snowy Mountains, home to the man from Snowy River that Banjo mentioned earlier. Where a horse's hoofs strike firelight from the flintstones every stride. Red, are you still listening? And those brumbies have been causing a bit of controversy. Because of the damage they've been doing to the environment, the New South Wales government made a plan to control numbers back in 2016 by sterilising, trapping and culling the brumbies. But that made some people really angry. So now the government's changed its mind. Instead of getting rid of the horses, it wants to find a way to manage their numbers without killing them. We, for the first time, will have legislation in place that says uh, the Brumby has uh, a, play, a place to play in Kosciuszko. Finding a balance uh, between protecting some of the sensitive wilderness areas of Cosy, but at the same time accepting that the Brumbies are part of the landscape in this region. They want to do another count of the population and organise rehoming and adoption if they need to get numbers down. But environmentalists say that would be a big step backwards for the National Park. This is really dangerously reckless policy from Mr Barillaro to say that we're now going to turn the enormous Kosciuszko National Park over for raising horses is a real slap in the face uh, for biodiversity protection. They want people to remember that horses are an introduced species and they're having a big impact on the sensitive native ecosystem. They say that because of the brumbies, some species of plants and animals are in danger of extinction. The government will be debating the changes this week and we'll soon find out more about the future of these famous horses and their delicate home. <laughs>